Um, you know, uh, I have some good people that's over here. Um, Micah, Poirier, Shaq Lawson, Vaughn, just a bunch of people uh, that's in the coaching staff that, that I've been with, Al Holcomb, uh, Bobby Babbage I've been with in the past. And uh, I like the culture that got over here, you know, um, being a part of winning culture. You know, uh, I'm, I'm all about that. Uh, I'm hungry. I'm ready to, you know, help out wherever I can. I'm ready to win, so that was a no-brainer for me. I know it's uh, day one, but Brandon talked a little bit about you being familiar with Al and the mm -hmm. defense they ran in Cleveland yeah. early here, but do you feel like you're going to be able to transition pretty quickly? Absolutely. Uh, I mean, when it comes to defenses, uh, the biggest thing, uh, difference, uh, in my opinion, just playing the different defenses is terminology. Um, how, how is the language uh, on the defensive side of the ball? <laughs> Should I? Uh, <laughs> how, how is the language on the defensive side of the ball, the communication? I think that's the, the toughest part when it comes to adjusting to um, learning new defenses. But at the end of the day, defense is defense. You got certain coverages. Um, you got to adjust to some of the blitzes. But you know you only can do so much on defense, and it's all about the communication part. So uh, for me, uh, I'm a quick learner. Um, I get on board real fast. Do you feel like it might make the transition even that much smoother, knowing the familiar you have with some of the guys like Micah Jordan, the people you yeah. mentioned? Yeah, I mean, anytime uh, you're around family, it make it a lot easier uh, when you're in an unfamiliar place. Uh, but when you got uh, familiar fa uh, faces, man, that, that transition is, is, is so easy. So uh, I'm excited. Uh, God, make no mistakes. Um, you know, I'm here now, and uh, you know, I'm ready to roll. What's the opportunity like for you to be in a defense like this that's been so good for so many years? I uh, mean, uh, the opportunity, man, it, it, it's great for me um, because I'm around a, a group of guys that, you know, they've been uh, a top defense in this league for a while, and uh, to be able to, to, to be a part of it and uh, have this opportunity, man, it, it, it's humbling. Um, I'm hungry. You know, uh, coming into year 10, you know, it's this, this, this time, so you know, I'm ready to win, I'm ready to ball, and uh, just follow the lead of the leaders that's here, and then you never know uh, what may happen. Do they give you any expectation in terms of like a timeline? I mean, obviously, I know the practice squad is not going to be all, your ultimate goal. Right. Uh, in terms of like joining the 53 or anything like that, right. was that a good discussion at all? Uh, you know, right now, uh, head down, trying to learn this playbook. Uh, everything work out uh, for itself. Um, you know, all I can do on my end is control the controllable. And that's me, you know, getting my head in the play with the learning as fast as possible. And then uh, the chips part of it is close to. What are your, you know, you've done this before. We've had to learn new schemes, new systems. You know? uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, so this year, this is going to be your 10. And this, this is my seventh, seventh defense that I have to learn. Yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm familiar with adapting. Yeah. Um, and that, and that's, that's the lead. You know, the business. You know, people uh, go from place to place. Um, so. You know, being part of being a professional, uh, knowing your job, is to be able to have a sharp mind and be able to adapt. So, what's realistic for you in terms of a timeline? Is it a week? Is it a month? Or is it you know, are you still feeling that out? I guess. Uh, I mean, it's as soon as possible, in my in my opinion. Uh, that's that's my mindset. As soon as possible. So I'm I'm learning as fast as I can, and uh, you know, when they make that decision, they make that decision. Um, you mentioned culture being the thing that you really liked about the idea of coming here. Yeah. What are some things that Micah and Jordan have told you about that culture? Man, it's a, it's a family atmosphere. Um, I believe he said his defense has been together, the core of his defense has been together for seven seven years or so. So, um, <laughs> in, all, in all honesty, I haven't played with a defense longer than two years because it's always changed uh, in the places that I've been. So, to be able to be in a, a defensive scheme where the guys are the guys, the scheme is the scheme. Um, Stability, um, that's that's something that's great here. And uh, that's something that, you know, being uh, on a different team and seeing it uh, from afar, you can tell that it's a close new group. You can tell that uh, the culture is set. So it was a no-brainer for, you know, one of my best friends, Mike and Poirier, to hit me up and, you know, just bring me in and uh, understand that, hey, this is the culture, this is the standard, and uh, they want me to be a part of it. And I'm here. The first question kind of alluded to it, but have you known that there's been interest on the Bills' part in, in your in in you in you before this, and maybe it just didn't work out? But you know, is, it, is that something that you would maybe considered being here before? Yeah, uh, you know, uh, being uh, Sean, all, all those guys. Uh, I had conversations with them a long time ago in the past, uh, doing free agency a few years ago. So uh, you know. One, they, they struck my attention by the way they carry themselves. Uh, I'm all about a, a character guy. And, uh, you know, we have good character. You can see it bleed out in the rest of the team. So uh, I've, I've spoken with them. I uh, had conversations with them. And then, you know, the NFL is all about timing. And the right time came, and the opportunity came, and I'm here. Oh.